<laughs> Hello everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. And I'm Graham. And we are about to talk about the film Avengers Assemble. We are? Marvel's Avengers Assemble. Tell us the story just briefly. Just Whedon's uh, uh, Marvel's uh, Avengers Assemble. Stan Lee's Joss Whedon's Marvel's <laughs> Avengers Assemble. Um, so it's about, uh, so we've, we've had a bunch of films in, uh, in the past to set up the team who are in Avengers, this is why they're assembling, because yeah. they're from all different areas. The Age areas. of Coulson film. That's true, yeah. And, that uh, so, uh, so basically, uh, one of the bad guys who set up in a previous film has, has been introduced as like the main baddie in this one. Mm -hmm. Which is sort of Marvel's problem, really, is they don't have enough good bad guys. Yeah, well, that, that's a, uh, well, I think everybody's aware now it's a bit of a recurring issue for them, isn't it, really? Yeah. Mm. I'm watching them all now, I'm going through them, and really, there's like, uh, Red Skull's pretty cool, because yeah. that's Hugo Weaving, but it's more, I think, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. Loki's obviously really good. I mean, Abomination was a bit rubbish, and uh, Obadiah Stane was a bit inmemorable. Yeah. Uh, who was the... Oh, Whiplash was all Whiplash right. Whiplash was, was just was, coming was out, what he was, yeah, yeah, it's just... Um, but, uh, and that's uh, just Iron Man. Who was the... I, I mean, I, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy the other day as well, and that had the blue guy who I can't even remember. Yeah, oh, he's uh, the least memorable. Steve-O or Aaron or Ronan something like that. Ronan the Accuser. Ronan, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew it was something like that. Ronan the Accuser sounds like a rubbish name as well, like he just walks around. Just accusing people of things like I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. a thief. No, I'm not. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so I watched it the other day. I actually quite liked him. You know, on, on second viewing. Are we talking about <clears throat> Guardians of the Galaxy now? Yeah, just briefly. Do you know who he is? No. He's like Legolas's dad in The Hobbit. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, I recognise him now. He's kind of a memorable in that as well. But he is a good actor. I don't know. I said I quite liked him in The Hobbit. Oh, okay, we're we're getting off the topic anyway. anyway. Anyway, I was just saying like that's the one. Decent villain in, in a good while, like as you say. You that. Think? Not decent. He's still not good. He's not up to up to scratch to Loki standards. No, I, I thought he like was the worst out of all of them. It, like the most. It was actually, it's actually interesting, and you actually see him I for a little while. Was interesting. And stuff. I, I, well, I've only seen it once, but I didn't think he was interesting at all. But he had a bit of a story arc. He wanted to go and uh, kill well, off uh, Stan. You know, all this. Whiplash was sort of getting revenge for the treachery of something. his dad or something <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, oh excuse me oh dear um at least there was gravity to 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 ronan though well there was gravity to think quickly uh i don't know <laughs> what's his name uh jeff bridges because it's jeff Calm bridges down. no 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 jeff bridges is cool yeah jeff bridges is awesome big fat jeff bridges is yeah. fine imagine a bald jeff bridges uh, in a giant metal suit that sounds like the greatest yes. villain ever <laughs> does but sound it wasn't amazing exactly some bland blue guy who might have been in the hobbit with face paint and stuff and he hammered some guy's head in and stuff you well, need to so watch what? you need to watch guys it's well, really good we all need to watch guys without see again no matter whether you've seen it a million times or not it's a good film did i tell you i watched it the other day uh, you did about a minute ago, but it's fine. We don't need to know every aspect of each other's lives. Um, so we're three minutes in and we've not talked about the Avengers yet. So the Avengers, if you haven't heard of it, which is impossible at this stage. Well, you have, and that's what kind of... You say one thing and I jump into a point, which is good. Well done. Um, uh, they changed... I don't, know, I don't know if the title is Avengers Assemble in America. I don't think it is, but it is in our country. Yeah, I think that's an English thing because of the TV what's show. What's it called in America? It's because of the, just Avengers. Right. because of the TV no, show. No, I, I know that's kind of my point. It's John like, Peel. Yeah. John Peel is it definitely John Peel? Someone, yeah. Isn't that the? It might be John Peel, but isn't that the DJ? No, that, that, uh, that, like put pull ponds stuff. Yeah, like it's that. probably both. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think it could be both, or you could be wrong. I'm definitely right with the DJ. <laughs> anyway, but that's that's in the bank. <laughs> the other facts, uh, they're a gamble. Yeah. Um, Score them up. I think you are right though. I have been like confused by that in the past. Um, but anyway, yeah. So they've changed it to Avengers Assemble in this country, which is a bit of a rubbish name, I think. Just call Very. it the Avengers. Yeah. Nobody says, "Did you watch Avengers Assemble last night?" No, and nobody in the film shouts, "Avengers Assemble." That's that's a, that's that a Transformers a thing, thing, isn't it? Well, maybe, but um, but but this is the film franchise. Keep them separate. You know, not not too separate, obviously. But... Well, yeah, but I mean, it is at least vaguely relevant to the property. But I just think, who was going to see the Avengers and thought, "Where's that bloke in the, with the umbrella?" <laughs> like, and, and who would Sean be Connery? and who would be disappointed? You know. I was hoping for a Rafe Fiennes, Uma Thurman movie, and what I got was the greatest <laughs> comic book movie I've ever seen. What a disappointment. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Completely family friendly and everything. Yeah. Like, I mean, the amount of like advertising and stuff. Nobody's going to go to that film and expect to see The Avengers, as in from the 1960s. Like, oh, that's going to be the adaptation of a Diana Rigg show. Where was um, Joanna Lumley? <laughs> like, was she the one in the metal suit? I didn't understand it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Joanna Lumley was in The Avengers. I think she was. It doesn't matter if she wasn't. I think she nobody was. is alive anymore who's seen it. Well, that's the point as well. <laughs> nobody, nobody watching this can correct me because <laughs> nobody was. Nobody thinks about the Avengers as in the Umbrella one. 
But um, some old, you know, pen pusher in the in the English offices was just sitting there going like, "Oh, I remember the Avengers." <laughs> yeah, I watched your Marvel Avengers, and I was disappointed <laughs> to find it was filmed in color. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, speaking so, of actually, so was the Avengers <laughs> the <original? laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the TV show Carry about points? Uh, some of it, I think, and then it went. No, no, it didn't. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Nobody Literally, knows. it doesn't even matter. No, it's you a, can't correct my joke because nobody knows. <laughs> it's a relic of history at this point. We Carry saw on. Avengers Assemble in 3D, which I don't recommend because, firstly, 3D mm. is rubbish at the best of times, and secondly, it wasn't filmed to be in 3D. It was one of those post-converted ones. Yeah. And thirdly, 3D makes everything darker, and this film opens at night time with Samuel L. Jackson wearing a patch, which means for the first 10 minutes all you can see is one bobbly eye walking around the screen. <laughs> That's an acceptable thing to say, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> however, anyway. on the plus side, I think the film is amazing. Oh yeah, no, it's brilliant. Yeah, are yeah, you a fan really of Sweden? Yeah, from what I've seen. What have you seen? What have I seen? I've seen Cabin in the Woods, I've seen Buffy. Cabin in the Woods wasn't entirely him. I've seen the bits of that he did. <laughs> right, you only watched the lines that he'd written. No, I've seen all of it. Yeah, but if he did bits in that, I you enjoyed... have seen all of them. Yeah, as well. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think it's he wrote the script. That's it's all included. Um... Well, fine, you know. But either way, <laughs> it had, you know, it had. You know, no, you're not wrong to say that he was involved. I mean, he, you know, you co-wrote Toy Story. Well, I know, as well. He was involved. I said, that, I said he did it. Well, you, you were wrong about I was that. Wrong about that. That's fine. But uh, yeah, no, Josh Whedon's really good. You know, I've heard like somebody. You know, we're still talking over each other. What? Well, because you were just waffling, so I thought I'd get it back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've heard criticism up, of Joss Whedon. Happen, did it? Not, we've only got ten minutes. Are we going to play this game? <laughs> uh, Both know I can win. You wouldn't, though, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so people say Joss Whedon's... People criticise him, saying that all his dialogue sounds like Joss Whedon, in the way that Tarantino could only write Tarantino. And that if you shuffle the dialogue around for his Whedon's characters, they whatever they'd say would all work, no matter who says it. But I don't think that's true. Uh, I think I think the pacing of dialogue is kind of uniform. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But I mean, it's not like but the Tarantino stuff. You hear idioms that he would come out with, and every everyone... characters through everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah. There's, a, there's a scene. There's a scene in Reservoir Dogs where they're all around a table, which is pretty good to a degree. Where they're talking about Madonna's big mm -hmm. dick, and then there's an exact same scene in Death Proof with the women, who are just non-characters at this point. They're all the same, mm. and they all sound like him to the point where you literally could like, who wants this line? You, you can have this eyes. line, yeah, right? You yeah, have yeah. this line. Yeah. Whereas in, you know, with Joss Whedon, I don't think that's true. And particularly, like, in Avengers, like, you couldn't stick Thor's dialogue in Captain America's mouth, and you couldn't stick Samuel L. Jackson's dialogue in, you know, Hulk's. No. Just They're work. all very specific to their characters, that's the whole point. Yeah. Like, um, so I, not, yeah. not just, I mean, not just, like, how they're saying it and, and you know, and stuff like that, but yeah. obviously Captain America doesn't get certain jokes and stuff like that. So no, it's all contextual Thor. for each character, whereas Tarantino... I, I don't think the comparison is true. No. Uh, anyway, so... Personally. So I think that that's good fun, and everyone's witty, or it's a witty script, you know, like the stuff Tony Stark says and stuff like that. Um, I, well, I, I was just thinking, I think we're rambling on about this point. However, I think it's an important thing to make because it's a film with a large cast, and, like, mm -hmm. you've got a lot of people to kind of keep focus on. And other films which do that, things like The Hobbit, for instance... Yeah, well, they just skip out loads of characters. Well, yeah, and it's like, well, Joss Whedon's actually taking the time to make each one important to the story yeah. and have their own arcs, and... It's yeah. just, it, it feels very cleverly and, and, you know, intelligently done. Like, well, it is. you hardly see the Hulk for, you know, for most of it. No, you it's don't. It's mostly Bruce Banner and, and, and that's I like fine. That. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. I, I, this is the, like the best Bruce Banner they've ever done. Like, And they kept him minimal. Yeah, and, and I know that that's what everyone said when they watched the Avengers. Like, isn't the Hulk and Mark and Bruce Banner like the, the coolest thing ever? But it, it really is. Like, yeah. he's just really good in it. Mm -hmm. I think Bruce, uh, Mark Ruffalo might be my favourite. He did such. Yeah, he did a great job. Like, yeah. mm. I really like Scarlett Johansson as well. She's pretty good, uh, for obvious reasons, because she's a good actress. <laughs> of course. And she's fit, but really, she's a good actress in this. Like, she's just really. I think I like her because she's got no superpowers except yeah, yeah, yeah. the ability to give men blue ball, and and there's a bit, in fact, involving him as well, where she she never loses her cool, and you know she's always like in control, like the bit with Loki where she pretends like she's getting upset and well, she's really not. Yeah. But there's a bit where she she's told to go and get Bruce Banner Bruce from his little shack. Yeah, and he oh, he like yeah, screams yeah. at her, pretending to be angry, and she's genuinely terrified. That's like, the first time you ever see her frightened. Yeah, which yeah. a shows a bit about her character, and b shows, shows a bit about him. And you shows Johansson's like acting skills as well. Yeah, shows how powerful the Hulk is. <clears throat> but uh, yes, I think the one big criticism I would have of it is Thor's appearance, which is a bit random. Because I think the end of Thor is him going, how are we going to get back to Earth? Now the Rainbow Road, or whatever the thing is called, <laughs> yeah, is, yeah. Uh, you know, broken. And Idris Elba going, 
Oh, you'll see. <laughs> and then in this, he just drops onto a plane like it was just jumping <laughs> yeah. for a planet. Um, so that was that was a bit rubbish. But, mm. you know, the whole thing's just so good. Considering it's like taking a bunch of films and sticking them in the one film, but so that anybody could just come to it having not seen the previous stuff and enjoy it. Yeah. And, th you know, come to it thinking they're watching a fucking Sean Connery Uma Thurman film. Um, so I think it's brilliant. I don't. I mean, I know I said a minute ago that it's the best comic book film ever. I don't think it's the best comic book film ever, but I think it's certainly up there. Yeah. I you mean, know, it has a lot of plates to spin and it doesn't really drop too many. Notable top um, comic book film uh, that I can think of is probably like Iron Man 1 and really? Spider-Man 2. I think they're both like excellent. Uh, so not you know, amazing Spider-Man. No, I'm not a big fan of Andrew Garfield. I like Andrew Garfield, but yeah. this is a different I like subject. him. I like him, but I'm not, I'm not I like sure. I like him as Spider-Man. Mm, um, I can't see it. Okay. Um, I won't. <laughs> okay, well, you might not have to from what I hear. But, um, <laughs> so, yes. I don't know. Oh, X-Men 2, that's a good, another good one. Um, and 3. No. Um, <laughs> <sighs> is, there, is there anything else to say? Or well, there's nothing we... else to say. Well, Everybody kind of knows. Say. Everybody knows everything about Avengers already. It's like... What well, other information? Now we've been so specific as to give it an exact title. They do know everything about the Avengers. Sorry, yeah, Avengers Assembled, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we, so, uh, well, what? I mean, you thought that the end when it shows, um, what's his name, Thanos, you thought it was Hellboy. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> I just saw him and I thought, that's just a blue Hellboy, what's going on? He's not blue, he's purple. Thanos. Oh, what in, in the... It's close enough, Christ, was it because Hellboy's in space, he turns purple? Close enough. I yeah. didn't think it was actually him. So not only was it, it the right colour as bit... Hellboy, but you thought it was a blue Hellboy. Hellboy is not purple. He's red. I would say purple is closer to red than blue is. Purple is an exact mix of red and blue, you tool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but it still looks closer to red. Why are you making me look like a douche when you've got this colour and this colour mixed and it goes purple? We should have ended this about five minutes ago. Well, yeah. This is what it's resorted to. Well, yeah. You mashing a glass with a paper bag going, why am I the idiot? Why am why I the idiot? idiot? No, not why am I the idiot, but... Anyway, so the Avengers is really good, everybody. The Avengers assemble. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Maybe.